The long wait is finally over. Yes, the Doha Metro has officially opened to the public yesterday, May 8th of 2019. Excited? Here's what you need to know about the Doha Metro. But first, hello everyone, I am the Curious Mrs., your resident how-to girl in Qatar, and welcome to another video. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. What are the networks or routes in the Doha Metro? The Doha Metro consists of three lines. The Red Line, also known as the Coast Line, which runs from Al Wakra in the south to Lusail in the north. The Gold Line, also known as the Historic Line, which runs from Rasabu Abud to Al Azizia. And the Green Line, also known as the Education Line, which runs from Al Mansura in the east to Al Rifa in the west. Which stations are available now? The initial operations, which started on May 8 of 2019, only includes part of the red line. That is the stretch from al Qasar station to al Wakra station. This includes 13 out of a total of 18 stations within the red line. Here's a list of the stations available during the initial operations. al Qasar, DECC, West Bay, Corniche, Al-Bidda, Mushayreb, Al-Doha Al-Jadida, Um Guaylina, Al Matar Al Kadim, Ukba Bin Nafi, Free Zone or Economic Zone, Ras Bufontas, and Al Wakra. The full metro network, including the red, gold, and green lines, with a total of 37 stations, will be available to the public by the year 2020. Is it open 24 7? Well, as of now, the metro will only operate from Sundays to Thursdays, that is excluding weekends, from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Now the most important part, travel cards. Travel cards are available for purchase at the station's vending machines or at licensed retailers, i.e. Lulu, Almira, Carrefour, and Jumbo. Top-ups can also be done in the station's vending machines. For the travel cards, you can choose between the standard card, including family class, the gold club card, and the limited use card. The standard card costs 10 Qatari rials without credit. A single standard journey costs 2 rials with a maximum daily cost of 6 rials. If you buy your card at the supermarket, say Almira, you can buy a standard travel card with an initial credit of 20 rials for a total amount of 30 rials. The gold card costs 100 Qatari rials without credit. A single gold journey costs 10 rials with a maximum daily cost of 30 rials. The limited use card, on the other hand, is non-reusable, and the journey costs depend on whether you choose to ride standard or gold class. Here are some other important notes to remember. The travel cards can be used both on the Doha Metro and the Lusail Tram. Travel cards are required for those aged for the limited use cards, the cards depend on the age, with 5 to 11 considered as children and 12 plus as adults. Exclusive family sections are available near the gold class area for the ladies and those traveling with the family. Want to know more? Download the Qatar Rail app available on both App Store and Google Play. And don't forget to register. These are the benefits that you get when you register. To protect your balance if your card is lost or stolen, to manage your cards, to view your journey history, to view your transaction history including any current products, and lastly to receive offers and promotions. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and watch out for a vlog on our first Doha Metro experience coming out in the next few days. Goodbye!